We're taking a look at the matter of cancer survivorship with Dr. Betty Farrell, research scientist at City of Hope in Duarte, California. Thanks for sitting with us. Thank you. So cancer survivorship, let's start with how do you define it? How do you view it? It's a really important question, and in fact, there have been varied definitions. The definition that we use in our research is one that is also used by the National Coalition of Cancer Survivorship, and that is that we consider people cancer survivors from the time they're initially diagnosed throughout their trajectory of cancer, which might include active treatment, relapse, uh, periods of long remission, long-term survivorship, and also for our patients who will have recurrent disease and who will die of their disease. Oncology professionals, where should they focus on the issue of cancer survivorship? This topic of cancer survivorship is one of the most critical topics we face now in our field of cancer care. And one of the reasons for that is our own success, that what we now know is there are about 12 million cancer survivors in the United States alone. And so because we now have earlier detection, we have better treatments for cancer, what has happened is that we now have many, many people, millions of people who are living very long lives with cancer. What this has also meant is that these are also people who have very important clinical needs and quality of life concerns that we need to address. There's a real difference between looking at someone dying of cancer versus someone living with cancer. Based on the difference of those two perceptions, how do we improve care for cancer survivors? The best way that I can explain this is to say we should be concerned about not just the tumor or even the physical needs, we should be concerned about the whole person. So in our research at the City of Hope and our education, we focus on our quality of life model for cancer survivors. That model includes physical, psychological, social, and spiritual needs of cancer survivors. Do you view all of those components to be of equal value? We do think that those are all of equal value, and it's not just our opinion or what we think is the priority, it's really the perspective of the survivors. So in our own research and research done by many, many colleagues around the country and around the world, cancer survivors have told us that, for example, their physical needs are important. Often we believe that once the person is treated for cancer, especially if they're now in remission, that their symptoms are gone. And the data is very clear that's not true. Cancer survivors have ongoing problems such as fatigue, ongoing pain, many, many other physical symptoms and concerns. In the area of psychological well-being, we know that once you've heard the words, you have cancer, it doesn't matter how well you're doing, you still have a lot of anxiety, depression, fears of recurrence, for example. Socially, we know that unfortunately having a diagnosis of cancer and undergoing treatment often has an enormous impact on the family, issues such as finances, intimacy, and so we want to care for the survivor and their family. And the last domain is spiritual well-being, that again, once you have survived a life-threatening illness, it changes everything. And so our survivors tell us that they really wrestle with issues of the meaning of their life, why they survived when other people didn't. Often their faith has been impacted by facing a serious disease. And so the best survivorship care is care that addresses each of those four domains. Betty, thanks for sharing uh, the news of your work. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Dr. Betty Farrell, research scientist from City of Hope in California discussing cancer survivorship.